Hey everybody, this is Joanne from Texas. Uh, I've got everything started, so I thought I would go ahead and show y'all what I'm doing. Uh, right here, I have my homemade uh, chicken broth going. Uh, I got a rotisserie chicken, and uh, you know, you don't eat the backbone, and there's still skin and meat and all that on there. And so I just put some water in here and all of the, uh, some celery and some onion and all the, you know, good stuff. And I'm just slowly um, cooking it. So I know what goes in it. I put celery, I put uh, pepper, salt, and I put the leftover uh, chicken. I had a leftover chicken breast too and I put that in there because I'm going to put that in my dressing. And I've just got that simmering, and I'm going to use that for my dressing. I'm going to use that for giblet gravy. And then over here, I have um, pinto beans going, and it's got bacon. It's got chili powder. It's got salt, pepper. It's got garlic, and it's got seasonal in it. And then, uh, if y'all haven't ever done this, it's really good. You add smoked sausage to it which you just dump it in there and you stir it around and there's onion in it uh, like I said bacon smoked sausage pinto beans chili powder and then you put the lid on and you let it cook uh, just about all day and then you have it over uh, brown rice or white rice, whatever you're into. Uh, I haven't had rice in over a year. So um, I'm not going to be making any rice. If they want rice, they can. we can make it when we get home. Because uh, I'm either going to take this with me or I'm going to leave it here um, for my husband because he loves my pinto beans. I mean... He has tried to cook them, and yeah, just just can't do it. So, anyway, that's the start of it, and uh, here is my gluten-free uh, cornbread that I had uh, cooked and tasted, and it tastes really good, and then I had um, froze it for a couple of days. And I'll start that next. And then I've got my sugar-free brownies, which, you know, I haven't looked to see what is in it. Not that it matters, because um, I'm going to cook them anyway. So, let's see. Um, it's so close, but oh well. It's a mix, and it's Pillsbury sugar sugar free you know when made with Splenda but I figure it's not going to kill me one time and then I've got the uh, pecans to put in it and then I have uh, Annie's um, gluten free pasta that I'm going to make um, and then I have some whole wheat rolls I'm going to make um so, anyway, um, green beans, Italian green beans, new potatoes with a little bacon in there, and uh, I'll cook that up, and then um, I'll bring that over there also. So, anyway, uh, that's a start for now, and I will cut this short, and maybe I'll add on to it now that I know how. <laughs> All right, bye. Oh, uh, I was up today just a little bit, back to my normal uh, 201.2, which I am fine with that. I knew the steak day would release what I needed because I peed like a racehorse. So I knew that that would work, and it did, and it's going along with my plan. You know, I'm, I'm right at where my body is comfortable with, so I'm happy for that going into Thanksgiving. So Anyway, um, I'll finish this up and maybe show y'all when I start making the dressing. All right, bye. Hey, everybody. Joanne from Texas, uh, eating my apple. Wanted to show y'all uh, what I have on now. Uh, I'm not going to take you all the way through it because this video can be too long. 
but I have um, my little pumpkin cast iron little thing and it's um, my Italian green beans it's Italian green beans frozen I just got uh, Kroger bar in and some fresh new potatoes little red potatoes and I cut them up and uh, in the skillet or in the cast iron little thing uh, pumpkin I put in um, butter unsalted uh, I put in um, bacon I put in a little bit of garlic and I put in some onion and I fried that up for a little bit then once that was going, I add my frozen green beans and cook those for just a little bit to uh, get them kind of thawed. And then I added the new potatoes and then I added some broth. And now um, I just have it um, cooking away until the potatoes get done. It's probably going to take about uh, 30 minutes or so. So, anyway, I have that going, and uh, everything else is coming along nicely. The beans are coming along good, and uh, so I will say bye for now. Bye. Hello. Uh, it's nearly 4 o'clock, and I'm nearly finished cooking except for my rolls and my uh, sugar-free brownies, but I wanted to show you the nearly finished product of the dressing um, the last step is to put pats of butter on it and then uh, brown it so it's been a busy day I got my um, macaroni and cheese done My pinto beans are done. Um, my, sorry, green beans and new potatoes are done. So, I'm just about done. Sorry, toothpick. I was fixing to put in my mouth, <laughs> which is kind of disgusting so I won't do that all right well I'm all sweaty and yucky and putting that back in the oven and uh, done for the last 30 minutes and uh, that's it I hope you have enjoyed uh, my little video and if I can, I'll show you the rest of it. All right, bye. The dessert and the rolls. Hubby's coming.